Who do the crowds say that I am? Jesus had to be, uh, Jesus was revealing himself in his words and his preaching and his message and his um, traveling around and healing and teaching the people. He had to teach the people a lot about himself, really. He had to teach about himself. You know, he said, I am, I am this, I am that, I am the bread of life, I am the resurrection, I am the door, I am the way, the true vine, I am these things, I am these things. Um, he had to teach, you know, centered on him, I am the bread of life, you need to eat me, drink my blood to have eternal life. Jesus centered everything on himself, centered our, our, our salvation on himself, and he is, he is the center of our life. That is the focus. Jesus is the focus of our life. St. Um, Patrick has a song he wrote, and we sing it, um, Christ is beside me, he is above me, in front of me, he's beneath me, he's all around me. You know that song? Sing it sometimes. Christ is around us externally, and but he's also internally in us, in our soul, in a state of grace. He is our plan. He is our... Um, he is... He has the plan for each one of us personally. You know, he has everything planned out for us. He, our path to heaven, our vocation, what we should do today, uh, what are the best things to do. He has it all. He has everything. Jesus is our consolation. He has our intelligence, our intellect. He has our ideas. All these internal things, he has what he has done too. He is our Father, our Savior, our Hero, our Redeemer, our suffering Savior who suffered for us. He has done everything for us. He has paved the way for us. He has promised us all these things. And we are called to, to embrace him entirely, totally, give ourselves totally to our Lord and, and, and walk with him, be in him, him in us our all and our everything, as St. Francis said, my God and my all, my God and my all. St. Thomas the Apostle, my Lord and my God, after he touched our, the Lord's wounds. So what we should say, you know, what is, what is Jesus to each one of us? What is Jesus to you? He should be every, absolutely everything. And we are preaching Jesus to the world who wants to get rid of the name of Jesus. He's too... He's too personal, he's too specific, he's too demanding, he's too um, constraining and restraining and to me. He is, you know, they don't want Jesus. Those who want to live for themselves, they don't want Jesus. He's too specific. I need to do this and that and avoid this and that. I need to be this and do these things. He... He is specific. Jesus is. If you say, oh, well, uh, I, 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 I love God. I serve God. God is important to me. Well, we can make God out to be whoever we want. Just don't get too specific. God's commandments, okay, but let's keep them, keep them vague. Keep them general. Jesus is very specific, and we are trying to learn every detail, every tiny detail about Jesus, what he says, what he did, what he wants us to do, the specifics. We do want all of them. We want Jesus to tell us what he wants us to do, his will, for every minute of our day, every moment of our time. And he will... We are, we are looking into eternity to Jesus for him. He is our, our, our model, our, our, our guide, but he's also within our heart directing our life. Um, he is our God, and let us make Jesus our God. Oh, me.
Oh, man.